How should I describe this project within a few words? I don't really know how to do this. Okay. Hello friends and followers and welcome back to a new project. This probably will be the most crazy project that was ever on my whole YouTube channel. I'm super excited what we want to do today. Let's start. I just painted, I painted this nice graffiti uh, yesterday. It is linked over there. And this big wall over there is the victim for today's project. We will make some kind of a workshop with nine other people. And they have all never painted any graffiti before. And we will paint the whole wall within three hours today. I don't know if this is realistic. To be honest, I was not that sure about this project. All I knew was that I was responsible for a graffiti workshop for a group of adults. And that the organizer of this event wants to create several other unforgettable experiences around the workshop. But I already knew that today will be a little bit different project since this guy practiced his juggling skills with a torch behind us. Oh, and by the way, this is Axel, the organizer of this event. He is the creative mastermind who brought also a hip-hop DJ and the videographer Alex to this insane location to create a once-in-a-lifetime experience for his nine customers. And the graffiti workshop was just one part of this day. Everything seemed to be very good in time, when suddenly broken glass was falling down on us. Somebody's on the roof! We need to catch him! I could hear voices, they're still on the roof! <laughs> okay, there was no vandal. It were just a young couple in love. And we told them to be careful and stop breaking glass. But they pretended two guys were coming up the same ladder like we did. And they climbed up the other ladder. So, we continued our chase. This is Thomas, he's doing event planning stuff in the background. But we didn't find anybody else in the whole building. And the workshop was about to start in a few minutes. Okay. The students are already standing outside. And I have to admit that I'm pretty nervous right at this moment. I still don't really understood what we are doing here. I'm so curious. Axel is standing in front of the building and he gives the guys some introductions and um, I should wait over here. Yeah, no, there, there are some people coming. Okay, it's, it starts. This is definitely the first time my students look cooler than me while entering the building. As the first step of our graffiti workshop, I wanted to teach the students about the vocabulary of a graffiti artist. I want to tell them what is a block, what is an outline, what are fill-ins, fadings, highlights and so on. After the theory part, we directly wanted to start with the practice part. We had enough cans for everybody and of course I had to introduce them into the different cap sizes. And just 10 seconds later the first person painted a nice penis to the wall. I don't know why but people always love to paint penises when they have a spray can the first time in their hand. 
After that I explained them that they need to reduce the distance to the wall to get real fine lines with the spray can. And the difference was just incredible. Look at this! Time to go to the big wall and start painting the big mural. But I have to tell you a secret first. The day before we marked all the first lines with a super thin line. So the students were not able to make anything wrong. Some of the students still needed a little bit of help to find the first lines. But all in all, it was really incredible how fast they were working and how much joy they had painting these big letters. For a little while, Axel and me were just standing there and watching how the students were working. Until it started to become a little bit stressful again because we needed to paint all the parts above the letters as well. And while the students were still painting the characters at the sides, Axel and me added some designs to the letters and improved some crooked lines. While a professional pyrotechnician was doing some fire experiments with the students so that they don't get bored. Holy crap, what is going on here? Axel and me had just enough time to make the last improvements when we suddenly had to leave the factory hall as well. So we need to wait for the darkness and they are preparing some kind of a show. Oh man, I was never that excited like I am now. On the attic there were a warm lunch and the students waiting for me already. This was perfect. Okay. Okay, friends and followers, the time has come. Holy moly, I'm excited! <laughs> As the day already was super crazy, I really did not know what to expect. The factory hall was illuminated with hundreds of battery lights and we got the instruction to wait in the middle of the factory hall until something will happen. Right in front of our eyes the graffiti starts to become alive. Of course the customers were happy as hell, but for me the whole day felt like an extraterrestrial experience. It was so intense, I've never seen my own letters that way, with changing colors. This is crazy! Yeah, and I had to come back the next day to see this artwork in daylight. Yo, and if you enjoyed this video, please like the subscribe button, please check out the links in the video description and much love to Axel from Isa Street Art for organizing this incredible event. So crazy! Speechless. And a big and thanks, a big thanks to, my to my cameraman, cameraman, cameraman. Tuza, who was speechless as well.